Okay. Uh, first of all, Dr. Stillinger, I know you didn't actually see the, the pictures on television or whatever, you haven't had one here, but I know you heard about uh, what happened this morning. What, what goes through your mind in your, with the whole background you have in the space program, what goes your, through your mind today? Of course, I'm deeply shocked and saddened and grieved by this terrible accident. And the first thoughts go to the people who died in this fiery crash. On the other hand, uh, I think all of those who worked in the program have been aware of the fact that something might happen one day. After all, it is a, an enormous adventure in which we are engaged. It's a very complicated machine. The technology is at its front line and there are so many things that can go wrong. It is not too surprising that at one time something did go wrong. Of course, that does not um, decrease the tragedy behind it. Let me ask you this. I, years ago when you were directly involved in it, in the program, uh, I know you were probably there with the button when, when some of the rockets were going up. So how is it for a person who is actually, say the people who work down at Kennedy Center or in Houston who are actually there, is it harder for them being so directly involved and the people here at Marshall watching it go up when, when there's something like this happened? Everyone who is involved or has been involved at some time during his life um, is under tremendous tension during the time when a rocket is being started and then slowly takes off. One cannot help thinking of all the many, many little circuits and elements and components which have to work together perfectly to make the whole thing a success. Of course, everybody hopes fervently <laughs> that nothing would go wrong, <coughs> that the machine would continue to work properly and would lead to the um, success which everybody hopes for. Mm -hmm. It's always a great tension. Mm -hmm. You said that you uh, knew one of the uh, one of the astronauts. I did uh, know uh, Judy Resnick. Mm -hmm. I did not know her well, but well enough to know that she was an exceedingly fine person, very talented, capable, very devoted, dedicated, and so happy to be in the space program. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this: I, I know you were in the program back when the fire. Uh, the Grissom Chaffee, um, the fire uh, tragedy that time, that was a thing that wasn't even off, you know, wasn't even during a liftoff, and yet it did uh, pose some problems for the image of the space program and people that caused some setbacks. Do you think this type of uh, tragedy will have an effect on the space program now? It will. It will have two effects. The one is a postponement of the flights which had been planned for the near future. Uh, these effects will be quite um, difficult to to take and to 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 uh, accept. They will mean a postponement of important things, for example, of photographing the comet in March, and um, it will also postpone um, some uh, the, the launching of some satellites which we had hoped for and, and uh, planned for for the next couple of months. The other effect will be that after the investigation has been completed of this accident, um, people will have learned what to do better, how to avoid accidents of that kind in the future. So that effect will be that in the future the space program will be safer because of this accident. Mm -hmm. So you, do you fear that the public, or do you think the public will understand that? I am sure that the public will understand. It will not be very easy to accept the, the fact of the accident, of course. That will not be easy. On the other hand, I believe it would be even less understandable to the public if the space program were terminated or if it suffer, suffered a, a real um, a substantial setback. I believe that everybody who is in his reasonable um, state of mind will expect that uh, the space program goes on, that it is being pursued with more energy, even with um, more dedication to perfection. 
with more carefulness. And um, I think this is the best way how we can honor the those who have lost their lives now by just going ahead, go, going ahead with the program and by not losing our goal and their goal out of our mind. Okay. Mm. It requires the right direction and the right velocity. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it would not stay in orbit. Mm -hmm. See, otherwise it would go, go either down or higher up and then down. And so one of the problems with the satellite was to figure out and let the rocket figure out where it was at any time, when it had reached the right altitude, mm -hmm. uh, whether it had reached the right attitude, what direction. Uh -huh. In this moment, when this had to happen, we call it the moment of apex, because it was the apex of the okay. This moment had to be determined by a system on board, by the inertial system. And then one had to report back the measured figures to the ground and on the ground we had to figure out when the moment was right and at that moment one had to push the button to ignite that last rocket which would shoot it out in a, in a horizontal direction and uh, uh, Mr. 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 Sure. he's just taking pictures yeah. now we're not on yet mm -hmm. mm. but uh, he just wants to get pictures of sitting here um it's but one, one has to, to reckon and to, to expect something like this from time to time. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that every year 60,000 people are killed on the roads and the highways. You have a good point. I, I was thinking today... Uh, 10,000. What? Just, just 59 in Germany? Is it yeah, really that much like difference? Mm -hmm. I never realized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and in, in other countries less even. 10,000. Relatively easy life here. We, mo most of us, should be in a position to enjoy life, mm -hmm. and yet so many who kill each other senselessly. Mm -hmm. or, or others did the next, you know, but mm -hmm. can, can get out of it relatively easily if one is involved in drunk driving. Mm -hmm. Don't do much to, to curb that. that that's true, yeah, that's true. You put it in perspective. It mm -hmm. And just remember and imagine that each and every one of those who would look. Oh, I need to see that sort of thing. I knew Judy Resnick quite well. I didn't know the others mm. personally. Uh, knew her. Very, very fine person. Of course, all of, all of them were mm -hmm. uh, dedicated and capable. Mm -hmm. uh, good scientist and engineer. So dedicated to this job of flying and all that.